Welcome to my channel friends. Today I am going to explain an American psychological thriller movie, which was released in the year 2015, starring beautiful and brilliant actress Rosamund Pike, in which a nurse goes on a blind date, but the man physically abuses her on a date. After all this she fall in love with him. So what happened in the end? For that watch the full video, and the climax of the movie is very exciting. So let's the explanation begin. In the beginning of the movie, we see a surgical nurse named Miranda. She was in an operation theater, where a surgery is going on of an old lady. But the old woman is died after surgery. Her son was sitting there, and abusing his mother. Miranda overhears his words, but she ignores him and comes out. Outside her friend asks her that. I heard you are going on blind date. But Miranda doesn't say anything to her. On her way home, she goes to a laundry to get her clothes. She is asked to sign it, but Miranda doesn't like anyone's used stuff. She uses her things only. Then she wears that dress and goes to her dad house, where her father's dog attacks her, due to which her dress gets torn. Miranda wears the same dress and goes to have dinner with her dad. There she sees that the food gets stuck in a man's throat. Being a nurse, Miranda saves his life. The next day, she goes to see a house. She likes that house very much, so she decides to sell her old house and buy this house. At night, she arrives at her friend Nancy's birthday party with a cake, where she tells her friend that she has a blind date tomorrow. A boy named Kevin is going to come to her house tomorrow for a blind date. The next day, when Miranda was getting ready for the blind date, someone comes to her house. When she goes and sees Kevin had come home early, he was looking a bit confused. And why was he looking confused? We will know further. After talking to him for a while, Miranda goes to change clothes. Seeing many boxes in the house, Kevin asks Miranda if you are going to shift the house. Miranda tells him yes. After this, Miranda comes out and tells him to go out because Kevin had arrived before time and Miranda wasn't even ready yet. She tells Kevin to come at the given time. Kevin locks the door from inside and moves towards Miranda. Then he starts harassing her. Miranda tries to free herself from him, and a scuffle starts between them. But Kevin presses him against the table with his strength and forcefully do it with her. Miranda does not understand anything, and she gets shocked. After this Kevin runs away from there. After this the real Kevin reaches Miranda's house with whom Miranda had to go on a blind date. This means that the man who came to Miranda's house posing as Kevin was someone else. Miranda mistakes him for Kevin. Kevin comes inside and sees Miranda in this condition and calls the police. Then Miranda is sent to the hospital. Miranda doesn't speak to anyone for days, and she was in great shock. Her father was very upset seeing his condition. Then the police comes and asks Miranda that, the person who did this to you, have you seen him anywhere before? Miranda remembers that when she went to dinner with her dad, that man bumped with her and he was keeping an eye on her for many days. The man's name was William and he works in the same restaurant. Police goes to that restaurant and arrest him and put him in jail. Next day, Miranda's dad goes to her house and cleans her house. And then Miranda also comes back home. She had become very sad and she was not talking to anyone. Due to all this happening with her, no one wanted to buy her house. That's why she was not even able to buy a new house. People's behavior had changed for Miranda. No one was treating her well except her dad and his staff members, due to which she became very lonely. Because of this, she was not even able to work in the hospital. She was not even able to give injections properly because her hands started trembling. That's why she keeps getting scolded by her senior. From here a turn comes in the movie. Then Miranda thinks about something all night. And the next day, she posts a letter to William in jail. After posting the letter, she starts feeling very happy. And a lot things was going on in her mind. And other people were also happy with this behavior of her. But William returns the letter unread. After this, Miranda used to send letters to William every day. But William sends them back unread. Then Miranda gets her house renovated as well. She also starts giving slow poison to her dad's dog because she wanted to see how many poison pills kills this dog. Then one day, William's letter comes to her. It was written in it that, you win, now you can meet me. Only then we come to know that Miranda wanted to meet him. 
That's why she used to send letters to William. Then she goes to jail to meet William. She talks to him very lovingly, as if nothing had happened. She talks to him about his life. And then every day, she was going to her dad's house and giving slow poison to his dog. And also she meets William every day. She used to wear nice dress every day to impress William, due to which William also started liking her. And at the same time, she started pretending that she is in love with him. Then one day, Miranda takes back her complaint and gets William released from jail. On the other hand, her father's dog is died due to poisoning, which makes his father very sad. And she was about to do the same with William. After coming out of jail, William sends flowers to Miranda and also talks to her on the phone. Then he visits her the next day. After talking for a while, Miranda tells William to renovate her house. Then she tells William to come the next day as well. One day, Miranda's dad sees William at his shop and he goes to Miranda and gets very angry at her. Miranda tells him that she cannot live like this for the rest of her life. She's trying to fix something here. Her father gets angry and leaves. The next day, William again goes to Miranda's house and starts doing renovation work. William gets very tired of working, so Miranda gives him the juice. But this time Miranda mixes all the pills in the juice as much as she gave to the dog. And then William starts working again. During this William tries to get close to Miranda. Miranda gets very scared. Then she starts working with William and she starts engaging William in her talks. After a while, William's condition starts deteriorating and his stomach starts hurting and he goes to the washroom. William fainted there. When he opens his eyes, he finds himself in the basement. Miranda is sitting next to him. He thinks that Miranda is taking care of him. Then he sees that Miranda tied his hands. He tells Miranda to open his hand and asks her what are you doing. She comes to him and gave him a saline solution to reduce the effect of the poison on him. And he started suffering. She tells him how did he even think that she has fallen in love with him. And all that he did to her is forgotten. Miranda pulls out all of William's nails and tortures him a lot. Then someone comes to her house. William calls him for help. But Miranda tapes his mouth, and she comes out and takes the parcel, and again goes to William, and she cuts off his private part, which causes a lot of pain to William, and he dies on the spot. Then Miranda relaxes, and goes to her dad, and she tells all this to her dad. On that note movie ends. So friends that's all in today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in the next video. Till then peace out.